What About Bob is absolutely one of my favorite movies. Maybe my favorite. I've watched it more than any other movie. We had it on VHS when I was a kid. Sometimes I'd watch it four or five days a week in the summers. The basic premise is a guy... Is he crazy? No, he's got problems. Uh, Bob Wiley. I love that name. It's perfect. And Leo. So we got the Wiley Fox and the stately lion, Dr. Leo Marvin. Uh, the basic premise is that Leo Marvin has this great career about to pop off. He's got a book out. He's got uh, an interview coming up on TV. And he gets this new patient right before he's about to go on vacation. He gets this new patient, Bob Wiley. And in broad strokes, the story is essentially how this, this Wiley guy who needs some family connections essentially invades, infiltrates, and takes over uh, Dr. Marvin's life. And uh, the, the acting is superb. Um, I, I think it's probably um, Bill Murray's uh, greatest acting. Is there any Bill Murray and Bob Wiley? Sounds fairly similar. And then Richard Dreyfuss um, is amazing. And the, the script calls for his amount of acting. He, he goes from calm, cool, and collected. He just does an excellent job at every point. Like when in the beginning when he's <laughs> when he's gonna give Bob the book and he acts like he doesn't know which one it is, is on the shelf, even though the shelf is full of a hundred different copies of his own book. It's brilliant. Uh, Richard Dreyfus can be a bit too much sometimes, but in this movie it's absolutely uh, called for. Everything that he does is amazing. Um, the script is brilliantly written, and as a side note, they use that house so well in the the blocking and the business of each scene. Um, but the script is is so well written because it starts out with Bob in his zone of safety, which is just his house, and they give him a little fish, someone who's bottled up, this bottled little goldfish. He's a symbol of Bob's personality. Uh, so it's just brilliant. That, those images are brilliant. And then it carefully goes through the steps of Bob invading Dr. Marvin's personal life. So, you know, it could have been written a little simpler where Bob just tries to find uh, Dr. Marvin's uh, personal house and, you know, come to visit him at a social occasion. But they set it up that the doctor is going on vacation and Bob just can't handle the separation from his new found buddy. And so he has to, like, infiltrate uh, and find the secret of where this guy is and he shows up and then he gets, he actually comes into the house and uh, by the end, the house has burned down and Bob is marrying uh, Dr. Marvin's sister. So, you know, that house is a symbol of um, Dr. Marvin's life, how he wants to be insular. But even the house itself is tainted because he bought it from the, the Gutmans, who turned out to be helpers along uh, the path. Which, by the way, Bob Wiley and Dr. Marvin are in very different movies. It's very, it's fascinating that, again, the script is just amazing. So Bob Wiley is in The Great Adventure where he's trying to find a friend and trying to find family connections. Doctor, he's in a comedy slash hero story. Dr. Marvin is in a tragedy. Everything is falling apart. He's, um, is he a fool in the beginning? I don't know. He, he's kind of full of himself in that. In, so that's one way that you could think of him as a fool. And he, he thinks being on TV in front of millions of people will give him the kick where he can really help people, but he's not helping anyone. He's not helping the people right around him. His family hates him. And this one patient who really needs him, all he just spends the whole um, story setting up roadblocks and trying to keep this guy away from him. It's really brilliant. Uh, highly recommend watching that movie.